As a continuation of Show Plays Fantasy Maiden's Odd Hideout, we're about to get the other endings. Remember that save I told you to make if you're playing along with me, though I doubt you are, but if you are, you made that save. Just load up right back there, and uh, open the music box again. Anjay. The things Anjay told me that time. I remember them even now. Burnt. To become strong. Perhaps have you decided to use the Force? I believed in it. I want to believe in it. But... I don't have a lightsaber. Just... why is this... I'm trying my best. Even though I'm trying my best, things still don't go well. What should you do, Burr? Just, what the heck do I want to do? I think I chose to, to become stronger, so let's protect Anjay. That's right. I want to protect Anjay. That's what I've been striving for, isn't it? See, I don't care what she's become. There's no guarantee that we won't be found here, and other villagers would also be dangerous. Andre doesn't trust me either. In any case, there's only one thing I can do to prevent Andre from going outside and to keep watch to see that father and the rest don't come. Let's get to sleep already. For Anjay. Morning, huh? Anjay is making asleep breathing sounds. Those hunters. Looks pretty safe over here. Still asleep, Anjay? Yeah? Guess I'm going back down again then. Harper, no lightsaber. The hunters don't seem to be around yet. For now, let's go back to the hideout. Anjay, what are you doing there? How, how did this place... Ah, 
burr. This is bad. If Anje had gone out just now, that would have been the most dangerous situation. Burr, I found this and... What? Why do you have this, Anje? You don't need this. Right, Anje? What are you talking about? Talking about... About what? Hey, give it back, Burr. I can't go outside without it. Outside? No such thing, Anje. There's no need to go outside or anything, right? But, Burr, I'm bored. Burr, what are you saying? This is trouble. I wonder how you were ever able to come into this place. Like this. You'd end up going outside. What's that supposed to mean, Burr? Hey. Could you have possibly kept me locked in this house? Yes, it's no more use. I'll have to tell Anje about everything. Hey, Anje. You know of the vampire legend, right? Huh? Vampires are dreadful beings. I have brought harm to this village. And last year, too, they've appeared here. And then? The vampire massacred people again and again, and on top of that, turned one person in this village into a vampire before going away. Because of this, there is one, just one vampire still lurking about the village right now. In secret, unbeknownst to anyone. But now... You see, something as secret as this, do you have any idea why I know of it? See, Anje, I know... I know that you're a vampire. And not just myself, my father and his subordinates also know of it. Today is the day your execution will be performed. And so, in order to save you, I sheltered you here. Ah. I guess you can't really count on me, ba maybe, but it, it is all right. I've made my decision. Whatever, whatever happens with me, I'll absolutely be on your side, Anje. This is the path I've chosen to believe in, and so. Ah. And so, Anje, for you, I will definitely ag. You will definitely ag. Totally. Ah, uh, Anje. Please, don't be afraid. You mustn't go outside. You, ah. Uh. Anje. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, she's so happy. Bad end. Hey. There's supposed to be three decisions, but it's not here, so... It's... Give me a minute. I'll fix it somehow. I'm... Not totally sure what I did. Besides, replay Anjay's side of the story again, and then hit new game, and it said, uh, it gave me the option to skip Burnt's side of the story, and I pressed that, and it brought me right to the choices. 
So I must have missed something on Andre's side of the story. And I recorded it while I was playing, uh, without commentary. So I'll probably condense that and stick that up as an unlisted video. And if I do, it's going to be in the description so you can, you know, watch it. This is the last ending. Vern's choice is he doesn't know what he wants. I don't know. Just what should I do? What is the right choice? And what will turn out to be a mistake? Just why do I have to think about this? It would have all been better if I weren't born into this family because then What if I weren't born into this family? I wanted to become a strong, fine person. Since I am Hunter who protects everyone. Since that was the destiny decided for me, all the way back then. Then. Was that something I didn't decide for myself? If I weren't born into this family, if I weren't a hunter, then what the heck would I have been? A peasant? No, no good. Right, right, I guess I should tend to the weapon. For tomorrow, tomorrow's... The gun. Their guns are different from ordinary ones. That's right. After all, their guns are not for animals this time, but for Anje. They'll surely point their guns towards me as well. That person would certainly do so without hesitation. Cynthia. Hey, Burnt? I suppose you're afraid of tomorrow, aren't you? You feel like abandoning everything. Just abandoning everything, don't you? I'd know. You're a weakling after all, aren't you? Despite feeling lost almost all the time. So scared. So unbearably scared. You've been trying to convince yourself that you're strong, haven't you? It's not as if I'm scared. So you intend to talk back like that? Of course. Why wouldn't I? There's no way anybody would seriously think that it's alright to just die. Huh. Then why not just give up? Don't wanna. Yes, of course I'm scared. My hands are shaking, and I don't like pain, and I'm always thinking how wonderful it'd be if... It all went so well, so easily. But I don't want to just quit any more than I already have. I don't really know if I'm making the right choice or not, but... But at the very least, I don't want to give up and just pull back like this. And besides... Ever since that time Anje was crying, I just wanted no more of it. 
At the very least, I just don't want to see Anjay crying anymore. Which is why... Which is why... That's right. Whether Anjay is a vampire or whatever, I've seen that girl cry like that just so many times. I see. I understand. That's great. Burnt? I have something to ask of you. That girl who has been crying all alone, all this time. Anjay, please save her for me. Because my voice can't reach her. Burnt? I really hate you. What? What was that all about all of a sudden? Because I don't really want to have to ask you for anything, but there is no one else who can save Anjay anymore. It would have all been better if I was able to remain alive. Cynthia, it annoys me saying this, but in truth, as for me, you see, I also sometimes think that it'd be great if you had lived. Hmm. But, there's also benefits in having become a ghost, you see? How so? Cause now, I don't have to become a bride to someone like you. Huh? It, it's not as if I ever had such intentions to begin with. You're just... Like always, Cynthia. But I feel relieved somehow. I'm not saying farewell, because I will always be waiting for you by Anjay's side. Burnt? Anjay, surely... believe you. Finally, finally I'm able to get out of here, right? Come on, Anjay. Let's get out of here. I, I can't go that way. And I went the long way again. Of course. Exactly the thing I'd do. Just a stroll through the forest. Don't mind the red moon. We found it! It's the vampire! S sir Do you all have your guns? Get ready. We all shoot at the same time by the signal. Huh? W why are you pointing your guns at me? And why shoot? Why are you all... I... I didn't do anything. Sh shut up, vampire! Borrowing the village girl's appearance like that, you... Despite being a monster and all. Vampire. Burr. Run away, Anjay. Why is this happening to me? What is all this about vampires? Just when I thought I was finally able to leave the house. Now something like this. Step aside, Burnt. No. Step aside. Absolutely not. Listen, step aside. If you don't, even you will. Then shoot already! I know this already, see? You've always been like that, Father. I've prepared to meet whatever will happen to me in my defiance. Anjay! 
You understand now, right? They're for real. Get away, quick, or else you'll die. And away she goes. Good job, Anjay. And with that, we'll end this episode, so I'll catch you in the next one.